Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the main event. We're your hosts, Dave and Sue. I know it's been a while, but we are back. Um, today, we are going to talk about Aroma M. She's a perfumer from New York City. Um, and Sue will get more into it. Okay. Uh, Aroma M is an artisan, art, artisanal perfumer. They've been in business about 12 years. They were founded in 1995 by a woman by the name of Maria Meth Elroy. Um, she was an American-born painter who transferred her, uh, her ability to blend color and texture and brought that to the world of blending fragrances. She studied aromatherapy um, and then she spent seven years in Japan to become an expert in both essential oils and in incense. Um, she creates very contemporary fragrances based on geisha sensibility and the subtleties of Japanese incense. And what's different about Aroma N, there's a couple things. One is that they're gender neutral, so men or women can wear these perfumes. There are a couple that are more appropriate for women because they're a little bit more feminine, but anybody can wear them. Um, they're also designed, she designed them to be beautifully fragrant, but also she brought the aromatherapy aspect into the perfume. So they also create, you know, a sense of calmness or well-being or they revitalize uh, depending on which fragrance. Um, so she's got some great stuff. She's got kind of two collections. She's got the Eau de Parfum collection, which comes in a spray. She just sent little vials for us to smell the fragrances. These come in a spray bottle that is wrapped in Japanese um, paper. Should should uh, it is. No, the, the perfect order perfumes are in the little silk. Yeah. It, Kimonos. It's wrapped in using papers, though. The oh, bottle is wrapped in the same paper. Oh, okay. And then the spray balls come in the most gorgeous um, bag, like a. Um, like a kimono. Yeah, it's, they're beautiful. Really, I kind of wish you sent one of those, but um, the perfumes retail for $80. And there's three fragrances, Ocha, um, Hanacha, and Novacha, and then two fragrances, Blanche and Noir, are also in the roll-on. She's got eight roll-on perfumes. Um, six of them are named after colors. Two of them are Noir and Blanche. Um, so let's talk about the spray perfumes first. Um, we've got Ocha, which is, it's green tea, it's got a little bit of orange in it, it's got a little bit of rose and vanilla, it's blended to promote self-awareness and balance your spirits. Um, yeah, they're a little tricky to open, they're little vials, but all really pretty fragrances. We did smell these er earlier. Definitely smell the orange in this, and the tea, it's a lighter fragrance, I'd say. And then Hannah Cha is Jasmine Lang Lang Cedar. Um, it's blended to um, combat shyness, banish worry. It's an aphrodisiac, and it's, it helps with focusing. And smell. Good. Uh, you can smell the woodsy part of it. Oh, the I cedar. like it. Yeah. yeah. I like the woodsiness of that one. All right, next up is Nobra Cha. And this one is Wild Roses, Geranium, and Amber. It's also to combat stress, clear your mind, and undo inhibition. Oh yeah, you can definitely smell the geranium. It's, you can definitely smell certain scents in each one, obviously. I like that one but too. some stick out much more than others. Geranium, and that's just the initial. Obviously, mm -hmm. with the perfume, when you put it on, um, you know, after an hour, you get the true scent. Mm -hmm. And every perfume is going to smell different on every person because your body reacts uniquely. No, it's okay. Do that one. Your body's going to react un uniquely, so it will smell different on you than it does on other people. So always good to try it on your body. Uh, Noir has amber and tonka bean. It's also to combat stress, clear your mind, assist in meditation and prayer. I think this one's a little bit heavier. It is. Of all of them? Yeah. 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 Definitely a heavier scent. Definitely unisex. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. I like that one. Kind of deeper, earthier. Uh, and then Blanche is a, a white flower blend. It's very feminine and sensual. So that one's going to be more. Yeah. More, more, more for women. That's a nice floral though. It's a nice kind of a pretty soft floral. Okay, and then the geisha perfumes, if you want to open these, just tell me which one you're doing. Um, these are kind of neat. They're wrapped in this using kimono paper, and then, not kimono paper, using paper. It's using origami, and it's uh, made in Kyoto, but really pretty. You can go ahead and open one and smell it. Um, and then it's a nice roll-on, which is, I think, fantastic. Stick it in your purse, it doesn't spill. You can get just the right amount. You can put it anywhere you like. I really, I'm kind of really a big fan of roll-ons. 
This is nice. I like this one. This is the green. This one's green. Green is um, absinthe, black currant, mandarin, violet, amber, and tonka bean. It uh, absinthe is an aphrodisiac, and it also enhances creativity. Absinthe is a little bit like licorice, so I'm not surprised you like that. Which one is that? Rouge. Rouge is um, tonka bean, tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, star anise, clove, and sandalwood. This one's for sensuality. This one I Similar think to is. this, I'd say, but um, you can smell the spiciness to it. Yeah, definitely more spicy, that feminine in a spicy way, not in a floral way, which is kind of neat. Moran. Moran is, um, Mouge, is it Mouge? Magnolia, chestnut blossom, mandarin, bergamot, and grapefruit. So one I think is like kind of a balanced fragrance. Oh, that's nice. Kind of different. Yeah. They're all a little, um, I'd say, heavier or... Some of them were lighter, like that, that blanche was kind of light. What's this one? I don't know, I mean this, this, this blue. blue. Blue is uh, blue chamomile, green tea, leafy greens, and jasmine for balance and... Sorry. Do you want to smell, and then pink, pink, if you want to smell that one, that one we already did, that's maroon. Pink. The other one we don't have is violet. Um, that's the other fragrance. The the ones in the roll on are mostly named after colors. The color uh, related. Yeah, it's lighter. Um, definitely smell the orange in it. Um, this one, pink, is going to be the first perfume, first niche perfume ever featured on QVC. Um, all of our fragrances are sh are sold throughout the U.S. and Europe and China. Asia, yeah. And she's also. I'm sorry. She's been featured in the New York Times, Elle magazine, Oprah, um, and she's been on the Today Show. So, well-known brand. It is around. It is out there. Uh, if you've seen it, if you've tried it, if you have any feedback, please let us know. We always like to hear from you. Um, this is a new perfume to us. This is the first time we've ever really seen it yeah. um, in person. Uh, very well done. Nicely packaged. The roll-ons uh, retail for $44. Um, so send us some feedback, send us an email, post a comment on our blog, send us a Twitter, you know, post a comment on our Facebook fan page, whatever's easiest for you, but we really like to hear from you, we really like your input um, and your ideas and suggestions. So let us know if you've had any experience with Rum Rum M and what you think of them. And our question of the day is, we are just getting into perfumes, we've added a couple already. Um, so we're looking for anyone else's um, opinions to different, what you think we should uh, have in our store. Yeah, so what's your favorite perfume line? Easy way to do it. <laughs> trying anyway. to <make> clear. <laughs> well, that's our show. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day and a great 4th of July weekend. Mm -hmm. We might be back tomorrow. We may be back tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.